So I'm doing a thread. It is uh, for George G's Room of Rock. He is celebrating 666 subscribers. So the thread is show six evil albums. Uh, I thought that was uh, something I could do. So I decided to jump on it. I have five CDs and one vinyl. The first one I have is by the band Ghost. And uh, the album is Meliora. And I like uh, this one because uh, maybe the heaviest album is very dark, very evil, lots of great songs. This is the two-disc version because it has the EP that came out that has Square Hammer, and I really like Square Hammer. That's my favorite song, but the album itself has some great songs. Uh, From the Pinnacle to the Pit is a great song. Cerise, that's a really dark song. He Is is a ballad, which is uh, very dark about the Prince of Darkness. Mummy Dust is a heavy song. Uh, just a great album overall. Next, I have Children of Bodom with uh, Hexed. This is the next album with uh, Alexi Lilo. And uh, this one's pretty good. This band has changed their sound over the years. They added in more like, keyboards. It's a mixture of like melodic death metal and power metal. It's not very good. This is a pretty decent album. It's their, their later period, so I like this one a lot. Now I have uh, Arch Enemy with War Eternal. This is another band I like a lot. This is the first album with uh, Alisa Gluce White. And you can see on the inside here. I chose this one because the album cover is just very like evil looking. It has like the pig and the baby and those like rat people. It's definitely pretty cool. I love the so these uh, songs. Uh, War Eternal is just great. Uh, Stolen Life. Really great album, and this is a uh, melodic death metal. I definitely recommend this. Uh, this is one of my favorite bands. I have some um, fresh death metal. This is a band from Mexico called Trans Metal. I believe they're from Monterrey, and the name of the album is uh, Adios Satanas or Goodbye Satan. This is probably the most evil album I'll be showing. Uh, this is some um, really heavy, uh, like death metal, thrash metal. They've been around for a long time. They've been around since I think like the 80s and probably one of the most popular extreme metal bands uh, from Mexico. So I have this one and I recommend it. I have another band that are, uh, they're Mexican, but they're Mexican-Americans. They're, I think, from Los Angeles called Brujeria. And the, the name of the album is uh, Esto es Brujeria. Brujeria is a uh, means uh, uh, witchcraft in Spanish. And this band uh, writes about like satanic stuff as well as like cartel violence. So there's a lot of like uh, stuff that's like specific to the country of Mexico. But this is like de uh, death metal grindcore. Uh, just very uh, fast in your face. It's very violent, very aggressive. Uh, they have a song uh, called uh, COVID-666. That was a single. They have another song called Cocaina, which means cocaine. The uh, Mexocista, the Mexican Exorcist, and Bruja Encarnada, which uh, a very angry uh, witch. I guess that's my translation. But this is good. If you like that, like, really heavy grindcore, this one's really good. Last one is Revocation. This one came out, I believe, in 2022. I reviewed it on my channel when it came out. Uh, this is a very heavy technical death metal. This album, is, I think it's somewhat of a concept album. It's about like the nine levels of hell, like Dante's Inferno. I think it's inspired from that. The music is very dark and evil and... Uh, the lyrics are very dark and evil. The music is very heavy. There's lots of uh, technical guitar riffs. It's very fast. It's very in your face. Uh, we got songs like Diabolical Majesty, uh, Nihilistic Violence, Strange and Eternal. This is uh, just a really great like modern death metal band. Uh, if you haven't checked them out, check them out because uh, maybe like one of the best of the modern death metal bands out there. So. That is all. That's all I have. Uh, please subscribe to George's uh, Room of Rock. Jump on this thread. And uh, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.